Welcome to the Nova DS device settings tutorial. There are two ways to configure a Nova DS device. One, manually by connecting a USB mouse or keyboard to the Nova DS and navigating the home screen manually, or by using the Nova DS software over the network. On the top right hand side, you'll see the network connection information, upcoming playlists, your preloaded demo playlist, your device settings, current clock, and your firmware version on the lower right hand side. Clicking on the Wi-Fi button, you'll see the Wi-Fi settings, your display settings where you can set your resolution, even get into scaling, which will adjust the screen size to fit your HDMI display. We also have the ability to enable or disable HDMI CEC control. On the settings tab, you'll see the screen orientation, which will allow you to change from landscape to portrait mode, the autoplay setup, where you can select your auto start playlist and micro SD card boot up behavior. The settings protection where you can set a device password and the ability to update the firmware. Next, let's show how to connect to a device via the Nova DS software. First, select your player. Press on the connect button and you'll see the other buttons will become highlighted. Clicking on the settings tab, will reveal the general settings tab where you can see the device name, the model, the app or build version, and also the language. If you'd make any changes to here, make sure you click on the right button, which will make it take. You can reboot the device or also refresh the page to see any changes you've made. On the playlist tab, you'll be able to see the loaded playlists that are on the device. You're also able to manage these by deleting them from the software. Under the Networks tab, you'll find your network properties. Here, you're able to enable the hotspot mode or connect to an existing Wi-Fi connection. Under the Display tab, you have your output resolution settings, your display orientation, the ability to manipulate the output zoom, and an enabler for HDMI CEC control. Make sure to click on the right button to make any changes take. Under the Autoplay Properties tab, you could select your default playlist, the delay start after boot up time duration, and your autoplay from micro SD card behavior. Make sure to click on the right button to make any changes take. On the miscellaneous tab, you're able to set or reset your device password. You can also check to see there's a new firmware available by clicking on the firmware update button. Please note using the firmware update button requires internet access to your device. This concludes our tutorial. If you would like more information, please visit our website.